What's up, guys? Welcome to Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. Hope things are going well for you. I'm doing a special dedication today. And Dan Sigurdsson, the one that you see that writes Hakad, he requested this. So this is a big congratulations as well. He wanted me to do Working Man's Blues because he and his wife, Tracy, just bought a house. And uh, no, he told me normally they, you know, they've been renting for all this time. They're out in the, uh, the sticks of Western Canada. Like off the grid in so many ways. But now Dan's got big projects lined up nonstop. And Tracy is going to be like, hey, you fixed the bathroom? Did you do this? Did you do that? And Dan's going to have to do it. So and there's a, when you own your own place, nobody's stopping you from fixing stuff. When you rent, you may not be allowed to fix stuff on your own. And uh, you have to live with things that don't work so well. But anyway, now, Dano, you're on the clock. So... You requested that I do this song, Merle's Working Man's Blues. I hope you don't have the blues fixing up your own place now, Dano. For those of you who don't know, Dan, he's a badass with a good heart, okay? You might have seen him in the comments. He doesn't say a whole lot, but you'll know what I'm talking about when you read his comments. All right. Working Man Blues. Here we go. I love that bass line. We always do two or three for the working man, but this is really the working man song, one called the working man blues. It's a big job getting by with nine kids and a wife. Yeah, but I've been a working man, ain't there all my life, but I'll keep on working. You'll be drinking a little bit of beer, Dano. I can't say for sure. I'm just going to guess. When you're off of work and then you get back home and you're doing this work, I bet this is it. Up tempo for Merle.
Some of the riffs in there reminded me of a Skinnerd song. Um, I, it might have been swamp music, but I was so caught up in so much going on in there. Tracy, I hope you're nice to Dan. <laughs> Notice this was a nice upbeat song, and which is so reminiscent of even like bluegrass and like even some murder ballads. They're like the music is all happy. It's like the contrast. And this here, the work of man's blues, which is up tempo, upbeat, feel good, stomp your feet. But he's like, man, I got to go back to work on Monday. Never been on welfare, would never do that, but got to go to work. But man, that was one of the most up-tempo renditions of any song of Merle's, any performance of Merle's that I've ever seen. Like Normally, you've got like a slow progression going through it. The bass is pretty boom, 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 like that. This was up-tempo, just rocking right on through it. I don't know where that was. Some of you guys really know your history of country music and where this might have been. I don't have that kind of knowledge that some of you guys have, but I wonder where this was. And you could see, obviously, Merle was a younger man there, and the folks um, uh, were playing, <laughs> the guy playing lead there, well, I guess Merle was playing lead, but playing guitar, was uh, he's wearing like a polyester jacket, which is reminiscent of the 70s. So, yeah, but I don't, and it was black and white, though, so that would be more like 50s, you know, but I, I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe somebody just made it in black and white and uploaded it that way. I don't know, but I'm not going to rate that, but man, that's a song. There's so much truth in it. Just get to work. Get to work. That's it. So, Dan, I know that's for you, too. Get to work, man. You now have a house. I don't know if it was a fixer-upper. I know I bought a fixer-upper. My ex-wife and I, we bought a Victorian built in 1885. And this was a fixer-upper. But it was only five minutes from where uh, our business was. And so it was easy to commute. But this was a three-story, 3,500-square-foot Victorian with a full basement and unfinished, partly finished, but which is where my shop was. I had all my tools down there. Any excuse to buy a tool. Sliding radial arm saw. I mean, you name it. I mean, I just, I had it all. I loved it. But you're going to be acquiring that now, Dan. <laughs> so send us pictures. Keep us updated. So there you go. That's for Dan and Tracy. Congratulations on the purchase of your new home and on Dan doing free labor for the rest of his life. <laughs> so there it is, guys. Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking a country. And of course, a cad. <laughs> Thank you.